Hey everyone, Lensmanos here and welcome to Mine Colonies. Uh, let's see, well, Mod Colonies, I keep calling them Mine Colonies. It's daft of me. Let's get a sleeping bag. I uh, just had a raid which broke one of the gates, so sorry chill, the gate's been broken. I'm sure you'll see that before, um, before this video even comes out, more than likely. Uh, so this is a nice little note uh, left from Chilled. Messed it up. Uh, all all you need to do is find the warehouse block in this list. Click on this little star to make it routable, and then push the like push T to move it to the top. And it will only you know it'll only route to the ex exportable. So that's this one. Uh, so if we're dropping something in here or in the hopper in top, it'll only go to that one if that one's highlighted. The others we can delete if you want to find it and, and like uh, remove item inventory from list if you want to. Uh, but like end of the day, it's not the end of the earth for us. Okay, so what I'd like to do, uh, I don't really have too much uh, set up in order to record, but I was noticing something that uh, we get a lot of these coral seeds so these guys are being created over here Whee. Quick. oh stop so over here in our sifter if you look in the shelves and there was this all these were full before i actually had to prompt someone to come and do a collection this was chock-a-block full of all sorts of material including these coral seeds so if you look at the recipe for coral seeds in a sifter, it comes from compressed sand, which is giving us iron ore chunks. Now, there was a ton of iron ore chunks in here and a lot of this other bits and pieces. But these, there are uses for them. Uh, so if I right click on here, you can turn it into tube coral blocks if you mix it with seawater. Now, tube coral blocks can be used by a dyer to make dye, and these guys are always after dye. Um, I just made the RF tools tablet I had to do the had to do the research for it which was eight screen controllers um, and they require I think machine frames which is blue dye and on iron block it's well, not in heaps but if we could get them a better way of getting dye at least a few dyes uh, we may be able to help help them out so in terms of this over here, if I come and look in here and type in coral, they've got quite a, a number of coral seeds here. So I thought I would just muck around a little bit and see if we can make these things, the, the brain coral block, maybe automatically. So I can either do it with, actually I probably will do it with, with refined storage, but that will rely on me actually having to request so I wish I could extract from here. I really do. Um, it would be nice if I could hook up a a um, some sort of importer that would pull items from this. But I don't think that's the case. Unless you guys know otherwise. Pretty sure there's no real way of extracting from here. Oh, Chilled's jumped on. Howdy. Now, I don't have any of the audio set up, so um, I can probably probably pause and, and let him onto the uh, the audio chat. Uh, but yeah, that, that's my plan for today, is to try and set them up with a way of making die. So, uh, bear with me. I'll get chilled into the chat. And, well, I'll see if he wants to join the chat, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back, and Chilled is now on voice. Howdy, howdy, everybody. And is currently fixing a small problem we had with the system being full of lithium. Um, so, as always, Chilled has been working very hard. Uh, over the back here, he now has uh, immersive engineering oil production happening. Uh, and this was, you were saying we don't have enough power to keep, uh, to get the... The stuff we need for yeah, having having a hard time uh, powering all the machines to make the fissile fuel. Uh, this all you we'll build a couple of diesel gens or something and and go from there. Yep. So we're just 
obviously we've got uh, an immersive engineering pump jack here pumping up oil and i'm assuming you had to do prospecting to find the oil oh yeah and then we've got a distillation tower here splitting uh, the crude oil oh there's been a death no one of our people died the researcher it's Ooh. in university yeah anyway um but yeah we had a, a small issue with the the ender chest being full and bitumen all over the ground up here anyway uh but this is converting into lubricant and sulfurized diesel that's a new one to me and gasoline sulfurized diesels interesting yeah i'll go it just replace a replacement for plain old diesel is there anything anything else Not we need to do about it okay uh no just build the uh generator i believe cool i just wasn't sure if it needed further processing or anything like that to... i don't believe so it can be processed and uh with i believe the coker to make it a bit more efficient oh yeah I think the server's lagging a touch because I'm trying to hit this <laughs> phantom up here and it's not doing nothing. Anyway. Wow, you've actually got a higher ping than I do. Nice. And I'm in the same country as the server. <laughs> doing well. I'm sure it'll catch up eventually. <clears throat> Maybe. Maybe. Oh, wow. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll see if I can continue doing what I'm doing. I'll get away from that phantom and maybe maybe things will be better. I don't know. Or the server will eventually catch up. Okay. So down here in the basement. And if I get kicked off, I apologize. Uh, I'm going to set up a, a barrel here. And we're going to export two things into it. We're going to export uh, water. Just trying to get in here. You and you are going to be. Once the server catches up, unless I've just crashed it or something, it's possible. Um, we're going to do two exports into this guy. One is going to be water, and the other will be sand. And then hopefully, what we can pull out of that will be. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting hit. There's nothing around. I love it. Um, yeah, hopefully once the server catches up and I can actually do anything here, um, we'll be able to make some water, some seawater. Hello? No, still not there. I may have to uh, cut recording until this will catch up. Yep. Bear with me. Another cut in the video, and I apologize for that, but uh, I'll be right back. Alrighty. Now that we've uh, had Aussie reboot the server, <laughs> um, we're actually able to move. So that's a good thing. Alright. So changed this exporter to being a fluid exporter and exporting water. And then I'm going to change this one here to exporting sand. So I hope what this will do, I hope this works, actually. It may not. I might need to put, um, might need to actually put like a, a block placer here. This may, may not do what I want. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this here. And that to sand. Just not sure if it needed to be. Hmm. All right, that's cool. I'm gonna need a a placer of some sort. Uh, what do we got? Factory block placer might do it. I'm probably gonna need something that'll right click on it. Um. trying to think what what mods we've got in here uh, i think our minecraft our uh uh 
mechanism bug might be back. Oh, okay. So we need to drop. Let's have a look. No, nope, I'm okay. What are you looking? Uh, I just hit, looked at a mach uh, mechanism machine and it locked me down hard. Yeah, mine, mine seems to be okay. Turned it off and it's fine again, so. Weird. Very. Okay, so I need to find a something that can right click. So whether Maybe that's. Just fall. I don't know. Can dispenser dispense through a as a right click? It's been a while. Um, I believe so. I'm not sure. No, well, let's give it a go. Let's see how bad my uh, vanilla Minecraft is. <laughs> oh, the joys! Right, it's probably people out there looking at this video just screaming at me, going, "What are you doing?" <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. A lot of people know a lot more about Minecraft than we do. Very correct. Although I cannot get Crafting Grid to do anything for me. That's because it's full. The system's full. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I set that going, but I don't know if it's done it or not. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's all good. Will you... That's not what I want. I don't know if this will work. But what I also want to do now is I want to... You know what? I'm going to put a tank here. I'm going to put the external storage on it. So we can access the, the water. But I just want to pipe between the two. So what uh, fluid ducts have we got? It's the mechanism ones, right? Correct. I got a few right here if you want them. Yeah, just any of the fluid... Nice. Mechanical pipes, that's what they're called. I'm probably gonna need one of the uh, configurators though, aren't I? I have one of those too. Come on back up. Thank you. Have you filled your jetpack yet? Uh no, it's almost empty. Is it Should quick be able now? To fill it right up. Oh my gosh. Wow. Not even it's not even making a dent. <laughs> Pretty sure you said we'd have uh angel rings, that right? But well, we ran, uh, ran into that problem. Gotta, I've got to get the polonium first. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna work. Can't do that. I need a filtered Can't do it with a pipe. Can we filter mechanical pipes? Or should I use a fluid router? Fluid router probably be the best bet. Although that's not really going to work you for can, me. You can change the colors on the mechanical pipes so that it sends it in different directions. Yeah, no, see, what I need is is um, the ability to extract just a fluid, just a particular fluid. So what I might do is I'll go, I'll change my mind back to being um, importer and just use the yeah. storage and it'll work I'll, I'll work it out <laughs> um i want to see i want to see if this works i'll need a button just one not 28 now i can't put the other 27 back in anyway <laughs> i don't know where they went will this work No. All right. I'm going to have to go and rethink my uh, my setup here. Uh, again, have another cut, everyone. I'll be right back. Hey, everyone. I am back because it's been a long time since children and I were on the server. Um, we started trying to work out different things and trying to work out how to get, uh, you know, right clicking on the block and doing all sorts of stuff. I made some create uh, water wheels and a deployer and did all sorts of 
jazz just to try and work out how to do uh, right click on this block and then realized I actually just have to have sand underneath it. So um, currently I'm, I'm now out of water. I've, I've got the system working. I'm going to need to just pop this off here. I'm going to need to expand it because we're not generating enough water. Uh, but to get things moving, literally just need to have this. And you can see I was dug out all under here and I had belts come up through the floor and all the jazz. But pretty much, you can see the two water wheels are going to be inventory there. You just need to have sand underneath the barrel and it will turn any water in it into seawater. So what we have now is we have an exporter, and yes, I did have to turn off. Um, I did have to turn off uh, one probe again because it was causing dramas. Uh, so it did it did crash me completely out. Um, but long story short, we now have the ability to create uh, the the water, the seawater. It'll pump into here and any, I've got this set up to put in seawater. I've got this one here set up to put in fire coral, horn, tube, brain, and bubble. And there are a few other different types of coral that we can do. And then it's it's converting it into the block. So once we get water in there, you'll see it instantly turned into the block. And this importer is importing it into the system. And that will allow us to get all those items turned into coral blocks and then what I'm planning on probably doing is putting an exporter here and exporting those coral blocks back out. So I do need a couple of exporters. There's one I'm going to need at least another one because I need to make some more water. And then, yeah, that, that you know, that'll help us get the dyes. And then hopefully... Some more dye, well, some more dyes in here. Actually, let's make, let's make another exporter. I think I'm going to need one more. Let's just start one more, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, I can get this done before the storms that are floating around my house at the moment turn up. Uh, it, it is storm season here, and uh, we are getting some pretty wacky weather uh, in in general. Um, like complete with things like tornadoes, which we're not used to. Anyway, um, not not normally getting tornadoes in 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 this area of the the, the country, I guess. All right, so exporter, let's plop him on here. Gonna do fluids. He's gonna do water. He's gonna pump water in here. Good, and he's gonna turn that into seawater. And then we'll have the two buckets worth working, pumping in seawater into here. Hopefully, boop, boop. And we have a raid. So that, that'll be good. That'll, what have we got? Southeast and northwest. So, of course, both sides of the place. So if I place that there, and then we go coral, you can see we're getting... Some coral blocks here. It's like almost one of each type, which is nice. And then I'll set this up to export them. And then all I need is some cables. And then I'll go and deal with these raiders. Good. And that should put these things in there. So if I plop these in here. Like so. Good. And if I open this up and type in coral, they are getting all the coral blocks. All right. So as you see, we have a raid. I still haven't done that. Um, how many emeralds do I have? 20. I need 50 something. I do need to do some... Uh, some selling, but I still haven't done that. Not efficiency. Protection. No. Fortune. No. One of these up here has what I wanted. Silk. Looting. Exactly. 
That one there. It's only 56 emeralds. Uh, okay, so southwest. Oh, I didn't show any of this when I was on before. Uh, this is the whole system, that, and that's why children needs more power. Uh, south, east. Let's go and have a look. I might fight these guys off camera. Because they can be annoying. Hello, looking for light. Oh, I've had had a few instances where they're oh, there they are. they're really far down. Look at them all. Look at them all standing on top of that tree. All right, I'll put another cut in here and I'll deal with these guys and uh, come back. Okay, took longer than I was expecting. Uh, almost died, like I always do. Uh, so yeah, we just need to work through getting all the uh, the coral. Let's say coral, and uh, bringing all of this over all the seeds. Maybe I should type coral seed, and you know, deliver what's available. Yes, request. I don't know. Just <laughs> give me everything. Uh, but then, then we can get that processing through the system and back into there, and then the coral blocks, as I think I pointed out, coral. Uh, can be used at a dyer to turn into dye, which is nice. I, I don't know whether any has made it to the dyer yet, but um, it, it, it's a it's a recipe for them. So, fingers crossed. Uh, so, we still need a bunch of um, materials or um, research, I should say, to get to our next um, machines and buildings, etc. Uh, I've got nothing running at the moment, and uh, this these sort of things I'm I'm not at the level of. We don't have any etching acid or anything like that yet, but we're getting pretty close. We're we're burning through all of this. What's this? Create the create harvester. All rotation speed controllers. We can probably probably do that. Uh, we're going to make some netherite shovels. Uh, but the ultimate understanding stuff, these things are going to require a lot. I think we pointed this out last episode. Currently upgrading the university, and we're going to need to upgrade many of our machines. What are you up to? Two yellow terracotta. Is someone going to deliver it for you? Oh, look at all the stuff you want. Yellow terracotta, orange, red, chiseled stone bricks. One moment. All right, so back and well, so many things going on at once. You know, an interruption day. All right, so obviously the you know our builders are now building things. Uh, Muhammad, I think, is the one doing that one. University got everything apparently, considering that he wants some like some stuff. That that's weird. Why are you asking for materials? If the scroll is telling me you're you're complete, do I need to? I need to rebind it. No, we say you're good. Does that mean there's actually? No, you you have everything. So this is telling me that you have everything you need, my friend. Cried resources, nothing. Do you want two yellow terracotta, four red? Let's do that. Two yellow, four red. I wonder if they've actually got me. Uh, they're up. Not what they need. Okay. So, oh, come on. They actually have red dye. I thought they were dying here. Red, I mean yellow. Yellow? No. Okay. Die. I don't have any yellow. I have some in something here. Apparently not. Cool. Flowers.
Red. The red die. Terracotta. I have some yellow. I have like normal. So like this. Good. Let's go and give it to him and hopefully he'll get his get a move on. Hello. The one orange and nineteen chiseled stone. An orange nineteen chiseled. Terracotta. And then There we go. Helps if I walk out the door instead of into the door. Hello. Are you happy now? Can you can you do your thing? Yeah? You literally have There we go. It's taking all this stuff. All that just to start work. And that too, mate. Some dye if you want. See, look, now, now there's a whole bunch of stuff they want. I don't get it. I don't know why he needed all that stuff and then all of these things. But that's cool. Hopefully they'll deliver some of what's required and then we'll just have to top up with the remainder. What I would love is like a list of everything that they're delivering. You know, like instead of these guys um, sort of congregating like this, I'd love it if there was a list somewhere that just went, this is being delivered here, this is being delivered here. It's sort of like when you request something in this. All right, really quickly, let's have a look. In modology, we've got the hopper, hopping hopper botany pot now. Get us an enchanting table, just what I've always wanted. And this, I have actually asked them to make this. And they've made it. There we go. So that was a quest. I'll put these in here for now and my system will convert them. Uh, you can go in there. Let's take a look. So, prismatic cobweb. But we now have the ability to have the RF Tools tablet, which from memory, uh, this guy used to reference remote GUIs and information. Okay, so if I say at RF Tools, there's all these things, remote storage modules and... Yeah, so we can we can do this and I think you can actually link it to say this. I don't know if there's like a link ability here, but it'd be nice if I could link it and then be able to see everything remotely. That would be... Quite awesome. Let's put you away. Let's do this. Right. So we are pretty close to the wrapping up point for the episode. I, I did end up getting, and there was a lot of derps at the start there, and and I did, but I have ended up getting what I wanted done, which was to make a little setup to turn that coral into um into coral the coral seeds into coral blocks so that we can pump it back into here and hopefully they'll be able to use it uh the other uses for it obviously we can take this and and put it in a crafting table and turn it into dye right it it's a it's a thing we can do um you can go you can go in there uh i can make eight of them see and we can create items for them yeah, so they get dye you get dye and i got a bunch of pink dye so hopefully they uh, can use them and things will be good 
Uh, it looks like Chilled set up the chorus plant here, which is nice. And I set up a kelp one, and and I didn't realise I'd picked the wrong, <laughs> wrong material of wood. So it doesn't it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb on that one, does it? Oops. I'm sure, it'll be different by the time I get back on. Uh, all right. So I've got a bit of um, supplying items to the uh, to the system for a bit. So I have to go find some blue orchids. Apparently we can do that. There we go, there's some, some blue orchids. You can you guys can have them. I know you've always wanted them. And then yeah, we'll we'll get through and make all these items that they need and, and we'll have a level five at university. And that'll lead us into having the ability to unlock all the research. Still have a lot to do in terms of um buildings there are still a ton of leveling up and also expanding uh, we're going to need a couple more mystical sites we're going to need a few other bits and pieces but that's all for now until next time thank you all for watching thank you thank you all to those who uh, comment below and um hope you enjoyed the episode i'll see you next time bye now